the combat items in this game, like, I haven't been using them just because I haven't been needing them. I must say, this in, in terms of, like, difficulty of battles, this game is not very hard. <laughs> Part of it is that, like, I think to make it more difficult, they should have done something like in Kingdom Hearts, where, okay, maybe you have all these items, but you can only use a certain number of them in any given battle. I, yeah, that's like that's something that they did well with with the balancing of the combat in Kingdom Hearts. Is that like you can't pause and change your equipment and stuff during a battle because battles are sort of like they're almost like isolated events unless you escape the enemies. Well, it's not as rigid a system as in other RPGs because like. You don't, you don't uh, go to a separate screen or anything. Yeah. It's just, you know, your, your um, menu box, whatever, will turn a different color and the music will change to let you know that you're in battle. So it's like, so now the guide was saying something about like three breakable statues and it's, and there's a wall behind them. And you can blow up that wall. It's like, okay, three breakable statues here. Wait, there are also three breakable statues here. <laughs> like, okay, will I find more breakable statues somewhere? Because this wall is not breakable. Is it the one at the top? Is there another one at the top? Of course, it's the last one I check. Well, okay, so last place you look, of course, there's the old joke about that, but what I meant to say was the last one with three breakable statues in this room. The last one where it's... The last one where it would be logical to look. There you go. So all the stray beads in this dungeon are inside these flower things. Which makes sense, because this is the place where you're supposed to use Bloom a whole bunch of times. One of the places. Is this like one of the first dungeons? Yeah, this is... This is the second dungeon, the first one that has a boss. So it's sort of like, the first dungeon is kind of like, say, in Ocarina of Time, the Ice Cavern or something. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't the last one. There was another one. Another set of these statues. We can break them. Nobody cares, because this is just a bunch of ruins. And we're just making them more ruined. I don't know why I can't go through that door. Was that, a, was that the boss door? I don't think so. Maybe that's just a dead end that looks like a door or something. Yeah, a lot of these were just a case of of me not looking carefully enough in some place. But, of course, I mean, I don't really... I don't really uh, beat myself up for that because, like I said, this is my first time playing the game. Of course, when I go back and look at stuff, it's like, really? I missed something that obvious? <laughs> Not well, the yeah, I mean, but it is, I mean, it is your first time, and a lot of times, what would seem obvious to you later, just because you've seen it so many times, like, if you're seeing it for one of the first times, then you can't expect it to be obvious. Right, no, and I'm not talking about the stray beads around here. I don't think any of them are, is obvious, but... Like, when I'll just run right past something that is clearly visible. <laughs> like, yeah. that I can see in editing. <laughs> it's like that line in Dangerous 3. 
Yeah, we'll cut it out in post. Well, what do you mean this is post? I think Strong Bad says that to the cheat at one point. <laughs> There's so many, like... Oh, I must have been pausing. I must have been stopping to look at the guide at some of these points. I was like, oh, one of them's right here. The old There's behind... <laughs> of course. I'm kind of amazed that this file has gotten like 60 hours on it. Why did I do a bomb? <laughs> no, you're not supposed to blow it up. You're supposed to bloom it. Yeah, you know what? 65 or 66 hours seems to be the magic number for me and, and, and games over the past couple years. I finished Final Fantasy IX in about that time. And then Kingdom Hearts 2. I, ha I actually put that on... I, I put a video on YouTube showing my, like, completion screen from Kingdom Hearts 2. I called it 110 Stitches because... Because the, that was the summon I used the most, Stitch, and I used it 110 times. Um, and then, and then when I did Final Fantasy VIII for for YouTube, that was about how much time it took me. I think this one may take me a little longer than that, though, because I still have a lot of stuff to do. Oh wow! I just went to your channel and you just hit 700 subscribers. Yes, I did. After, like, after several years, <laughs> between 600 and 700, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, quick, before somebody unsubscribes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess I should make, like, a vlog, because there's that and the fact that I've moved. Yeah, I moved so that I would be closer to work, because... Like, the Baltimore area is one of the worst areas in the country for traffic. And the ro the route that I took to work before I moved here was just... The, the roads are not well designed to handle the amount of traffic that they get. And it's especially annoying when you drive a stick shift car like I do. Now, I'm not sure how that caught only one of the clovers, but oh well. <laughs> okay, I think this is the last. No, it's not a stray bead. Do you, uh, do you plan on doing Kingdom Hearts 2 at all? At this point, no. Um... I have one more game planned that I'm going to start soon, possibly, or probably before I finish this one, actually. So there will be a little overlap, and it is not Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, like I've said, if at the end of that game, like when I finish this one and the other one, I find that I still want to do Let's Playing, then I will keep doing it, but... My life is pretty busy. Yeah. And I don't see this as something that I'm going to keep doing forever. Sure. Of course, I could be wrong. It could be that I just want to keep doing it. Could be that there are, you know, new games I find that I want to do or old games that I wanted to do and didn't have, didn't, you know, hadn't figured out what I wanted to do with and then I did, do figure out or something. Sure. Like Banjo Kazooie is one I've wanted to do, for example, and but the one I really want to do is Banjo Tooie. But I do Banjo Kazooie first if I get it. Yeah. Banjo Tooie, I think, is like. I think I think that game is the pinnacle of its particular genre, the sort of platformer collectathon genre. Huh. It just. It sort of it deconstructs and reconstructs things. It, it's 
it's it's a lot more difficult than Banjo Kazooie. Um, <laughs> at one point, like the characters, Kazooie even said, "Like, look, we did all this stuff for you, and you're only going to give us one jiggy." <laughs> The character's like, yep, that's all I got. So, so in what ways is it harder? Um, there's... You have to go through more work for each Jiggy. And there are more, there are more big enemies, more bosses. Um, oh, and... The last, the final boss is even more difficult than it is in Banjo Kazooie, and it's no pushover in Banjo Kazooie. But but even before that, it's just like the puzzles also are harder. There are a lot that a lot of puzzles that involve going between worlds. Um, like, and and in Banjo Tooie, the uh, oh, I may have been counting them at that point. I think I have 60-some by the end of this. Okay, this was a weird moment. I've had this pinwheel in my inventory for most of the game now. I had no idea what to do, and I didn't even see what he said. So I don't know why I gave him that pinwheel. I guess his wife wants it or something. Maybe his wife is Renoa. Which means that he would, well, he might be Squall. I just say that because Pinwheel is the name of the first weapon that Renoa has. So this is Taka Pass. And this is the cave where I fought Waka for the second time. The, the guide said, look into the very bright water. I'm like, what do you mean bright water? Oh, this is what you mean bright water. <laughs> I wish, I wish water really did glow like that. That looked really cool. Yeah, I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't drink water that glowed, glowed like that. And once again, I'm looking for a stray bead and I find something else I missed. Of course, this being an early game clover, it doesn't give too much praise. Wait, they were just... Their motions were... Yes, I just realized that now. Alright, so when you have the gimmick gear, you go back to this guy in the aristocrat's corner of, of Seon City. There was also a stray bead here that I got earlier in the session. You know what is funny? If, if that thing on top of his head well, has a stray bead, you have to, like, slash it to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's supposed to be a light bulb. So I decided to mess with him. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. Yeah, except I said no three times that time. And that was the beginning of the game. This is a side quest. Yeah, 